Hey there everyone, it's Jasper with the Boys and Girls Club of Contra Costa and today we are going to be taking a simple meal and trying to make it better. We are going to be using the same criteria we use whenever we look at a new ingredient and that is what is it, what are the health benefits, how do I store it, how do I prepare it, and lastly, how do I cook it. So let's see what our simple item is, shall we? Drum roll please. What have we got here? What is it? Well, it looks like a packet of instant ramen. You can usually find these at dollar stores or you can find them at grocery stores for about a dollar or less usually. Now, ramen is Japanese for pulled noodles. And these noodles go into a Japanese styled noodle soup, also called ramen. And as I look at the back of this, it even tells you a little bit of the history of when this was made. This was invented by a fella named Momofuku Ando, and this is of Nissan Foods in Japan. The noodles are made with wheat flour and then fried in palm oil before being dehydrated and put into a package that also contains a little flavor packet, which has high sodium ingredients like MSG. So what are the health benefits of this item? Well, whole wheat holds on to nutrients like complex carbs, proteins, fiber, iron, magnesium, and zinc. When you make wheat flour, you're not actually keeping any of that nutritional value that whole wheat does. So you get all the flavor, but none of the nutrition. So we have top ramen noodles, which break down in your body and raise your blood sugar quickly being fried in palm oil. Now, palm oil has the second highest concentration of saturated fat, 81% out of all the other vegetable oils that are out there. So when you eat a package of this, you're actually getting a lot of empty calories. When we say in human nutrition, empty calories, that means that the food is primarily consisting of sugar, fats, or oils. These provide a little bit of energy for the body, but come nowhere near close to the essential vitamins, minerals, proteins, fiber, and essential fatty acids. So when it comes to this stuff, I would definitely recommend this being an every once in a while meal. So how do I store this item? Well, this item actually doesn't need to be refrigerated, but the enemy to most food storage is moisture. So make sure you store this in a dark, cool place and always check the packaging for any holes where moisture could have creeped its way in and caused mold to grow inside of the packaging. All right, so how do we prepare and cook this thing? All right, here's what we're gonna do if we're going to be using a stove top. Bring two and a half cups of water to a boil in a small saucepan. Add the noodles and cook for two minutes. Add the flavor packet, stir, and continue to cook for another 30 seconds. Now, we do have access to a microwave, so the microwave method is this. You wanna put your noodles in a bowl big enough to hold two cups of water and the noodles. Then, you're gonna microwave the noodles for about three minutes. It's a good idea to put a cover over the bowl to prevent splatter on the inside of the microwave. After it's done cooking, let it stand for about three minutes for the noodles to rehydrate. Add your flavor packet and stir and eat at your desired temperature. So we said that we were gonna make this meal better. So what could we do to make this item more refreshing? Well, if we were to look at an actual bowl of ramen, actual ramen is not instant. It's made with fresh noodles, vegetables, sometimes meats, and all of it sitting in a broth that brings the meal together. That's what instant ramen is a faster version of. Now, if we wanted to make it simple, we could go ahead and add some fresh vegetables. Depending on the flavor of the ramen, we could also, for instance, if it was chicken, add some chicken to it. If it's beef, add some beef. And if you wanna to try to make this meal healthy, one of the things that we could do is actually take out the top ramen packet of seasoning because it has high sodium with that MSG and swap it with ingredients that we have at home, like garlic powder, salt, pepper, and fresh herbs. Now remember that when you're in the kitchen, you are the chef. 
If you're gonna be handling any sharp objects or hot surfaces, it's always a good idea to have an adult help you in the kitchen. Otherwise, make this dish how you want. You can go straight from the package and follow the instructions or bring it to life with some fresh ingredients. The choice is up to you when you make the dish, because remember, the most key ingredient in any recipe is you. All right? So, hopefully you guys like this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. All right? Take care, everybody.